welcome to my channel I saw ya in a world hey guys once again welcome back to my channel I'm here to help you guys with my best subject knowledge and ideas with you so stay tuned to my channel hey guys today my topic is more circle this Tutorial will be highly effective for aeronautical, aerospace, mechanical and civil engineering students. If you have further inquiry, drop down to my mail to 9489 at gmail.com. First, uh, I will generalize the thing. First, consider any element. From that particular element, I am focusing on a small precise element. On that element, it undergoing some force. See, as it given in the figure, along the x-axis, the tensile force is taking place and along the y-axis, a compressive force is taking place or we can say compressive stress is taking place and along the surface and shear stress is undergoing. So, for this particular surface, we can say if we have a shear stress is zero for a particular plane then the plane of the shear stress or normal stress can be maximum or a minimum that is known as a principal plane it can be sigma 1 and or sigma 2 mostly the sigma 1 is denoted as a maximum principal stress and sigma 2 is denoted as a minimum principal stress and the formula is displayed in your screen equals to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus or minus root over sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square when we are considering a maximum we will consider here as a positive and when we are considering a minimum value we will consider as a negative For, okay so tau max that is maximum shear stress equals to plus and minus root over sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square in case of maximum shear stress the tau xy will be zero so you will get as sigma x minus sigma y by 2 and this is a formula that is angle which angle plane of axis it is creating a maximum shear stress then the purpose of more circle it is actually for a visual tool used to determine the stress at a given point in a relation to the angle of orientation of the stress element as you can understand there are four possible variations in more circle depending on the positive directions are defined so here comes it can be a sigma 1 sigma 2 or sigma 1 or sigma 3 you can name anything sigma 2 or sigma 3 plane where the normal stress and the shear stress will act so sigma s is also can be written as tau s or tau xy so this explains that always the sigma 1 will be greater than sigma 2 and uh, if you're dealing with the sigma 2 and sigma 3 plane that means that there is our uh, two principal stresses would be sigma 2 and sigma 3 now let's see the normal stress this is a formula for normal stress sigma n equals to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 cos 2 theta now we can also write as capital c plus r cos omega this omega is nothing but the 2 theta value we are simplifying this above equation what is c c is a center of a more circle and r is a radius of a more circle so what is c then here sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 and r sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 as it has been written over here now comes now considering uh, the when at what condition we will get a maximum and minimum normal stress now consider the theta value is zero now if you apply the theta value zero over here so what is cos 2 theta we'll get as 1 now applying that here we will get as sigma n equals to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 plus sigma 1 minus 1 
sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2. If you simplify this equation, we get a sigma n equals to sigma 1. That is a maximum value. Sigma 1 is a maximum value. Now, consider the theta value is 90. Substitute in the same formula. That is a general equation formula. We get as cos 2 theta equals to minus 1. Then if you substitute that here, we get as this equation simplify and we get as theta n sigma n equals to sigma 2. That is a minimum value. So from the above, we can generalize that sigma n equals to sigma 1 at sigma equals to theta. That is a maximum value and theta when theta value is 90, we get as minimum value. Apart from that, there is some sign convention. That is, when we get as normal, stre normal stress is positive, that means the nature of a stress is compressive. When we get a negative value, we get that means that having a nature of a tensile. That means when the sigma n is greater less than 0 when the sigma n is less than 0 it's a tensile and when the sigma n that is normal stress is greater than 0 we get as a compressive strain then comes shear stress shear stress formula is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 sine 2 theta now similarly we have studied the radius formula that is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 is a radius so we have written here that is tau s or sigma s both the same equals to r sine omega so what it represents that here how when is a minimum condition when is a maximum condition mostly in complete exam they ask this kind of question so in shear stress minimum will be when theta is 0 90 degree or 180 degree and maximum when the theta is plus or minus 45 degree or sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 and from here if you want need to find the diameter that is 2r so we can write that differential stress that is diameter of a more is more circle is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 uh, this is a general formula when we are considering the tau x y is not equal to zero so how we can remember this see the formula tau equals to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sine 2 theta plus tau x y cos 2 theta now what is sigma n normal stress minus sigma x plus sigma y by 2 equals to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta minus tau x y sine 2 theta now here you see these are the common terms in both the shear stress and normal stress but see their sine and cosine terms are getting exchanged see here here we have cos 2 theta here the tau xy have a cos 2 theta here we have a minus here we have plus and tau xy sine 2 theta and here we have this value into sine 2 theta this is a more circle this is how you have to draw the more circle now comes some special states of stresses there are around four important stresses that is uniaxial by axial pure stress axial stress and triaxial stress so i will focus a generalized way with a more circle how they are denoted what is meant by uniaxial stress it can be having both the sigma 1 or sigma 2 if you're considering a 2d plane so one of the axis will be non-zero and another one will be equal to zero. If you are considering a 3D plane or a 3D axis, then definitely one of the axis should not be zero and other two should be zero. As you can see in the figure, that is having some value, positive or negative, it can be anything. So if it is having a positive value, that means it will give an 
positive impact this is a positive quadrant and this is a negative quadrant and similarly if you want to find for the uniaxial tensile stress you will have a negative here so this is a summary of uniaxial tension and uniaxial compression stress next comes biaxial tension here one principal stress equals to zero and other do not that is the sigma one or sigma three has to be zero and other two may be positive or negative as you can see that one of the thing has to be among the three one of the thing has to be zero so this one is the both the sigma 1 or 2 or whatever you consider are in tension this is in compression and here one of the thing this side means tension and other side is a compression here comes axial stress in axial stress it expresses that if among the three axes the any two will be equal to each other and another will be non equal to another that means it is an axial stress next comes pure shear so how the pure shear we can denote both having the when both the stresses are non zero they, sh they should not be non zero but they have a equal magnitude but opposite in nature now see in that kind of cases the more circle will be the center will be on the origin and both will be have equally shared in the negative and the positive these are all the stages of stresses in various condition triaxial stress in triaxial stress we have all the principal stresses are non-zero they all will be having some random values it can be a positive or negative it can be distinguished by like this as shown in your screen our overall prescription here the difference between the maximum and the minimum value maximum and the minimum value of principal stress are sigma 1 minus sigma 2 which should be always be positive from there we can derive that the twice of the radius that means the diameter of the largest more circle is nothing but our the sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 is a twice the maximum shear stress and uh, shear stress is maximum at the angle 45 degree plus and minus 45 degree i hope this session was very useful for you guys subscribe to my channel for more updates and don't forget to share this video with the needy fellows take care stay blessed